Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Sims 4 video, but before we get started, I just want to thank you all so so much for 800 subscribers. I am so thankful for this community and how welcoming everyone has been um, in the short time that I've been here. So thank you to everyone who has watched any of my videos, who has commented especially. I do enjoy reading all of your comments and interacting with you and also for everyone who has subscribed. So thank you again for um, being so welcoming to me. I really appreciate it. Um, so getting into the video for today. So like I said, we are doing something a little bit different. We are gonna be doing my very first sort of mod overview video. So I have been asked a couple of different times about some of the mods that I use in my game. And someone did suggest that I do an overview video or start doing like favorite mod videos and I'll probably do a few of those I haven't decided exactly how that's going to work but I did think it was a good idea to start with some of the mods that make it really easy for me to record Sims 4 videos on YouTube um, the whole let's play thing is made easier by mods it would be really really difficult without them so I thought this would be a really really good place to start so all of the mods that we are going to cover today will be in a link to my tumblr page in the description and on my tumblr I will just have a post with the links to all of the mods that we're going over so if you're interested in any of these mods or if you would like to learn more about them you will be able to find that information there Okay, so like I said, this is going to be more of like a utility based mod situation. These aren't particularly fun mods, but I do believe all of them to be helpful for me personally as it relates to recording Sims videos. So I am here with Harper today. She is looking gorgeous as usual, loving the green on her. And we are in Windenburg for the purposes of this video, and we'll get into that a little bit more. But let me start off with some of the really, really small ones or some of the more basic mods, and then we'll get into the more specific. So first mod that we are going to cover is um, completely aesthetic based, and this really, really helps me for a lot of reasons. So as you can see, we have a little tinier plumb bob here. I am a player who needs that plumb bob. It is important to me. I like to have the headline effects on in my game. I do not like to turn them off, but that plumb bob can be a little bit obstructive. It is very, very large. So I am using the smaller plumb bob mod by Illogical Sims, and I believe it has a bunch of different size options. So I know that there's like a 10%, there's a 25%. I'm using the 50%. It may also go larger, but I'm not sure. I haven't um, had to redownload it in a while, but it is important to me to still have this here. I know a lot of people don't care about it. They just turn the headline effects off, but to me, I'm not playing The Sims if there's no plumb bob. So it just works out a lot better if it is smaller and it isn't always in the way. So you will see when I am recording, I don't turn off the headline effects, especially if there's lots of Sims on a lot. It is really important for me to be able to see where my Sim is and that plumb bob helps me out a lot in that capacity. Capacity. So that is the first mod that I wanted to show off. Probably the smallest mod of all of the ones that we are going to be looking at today, but one that is really important to me, so I thought that I would cover it here. Okay, so the next mod that we are going to be covering is a lot more, um, it's a heavy mod and it does a lot of stuff. And so it is the UI Cheats extension mod by Weir Bizu. I'm sure everyone has heard about this mod, but I use it for a lot of things, specifically as it relates to fleshing out a story. So to give you an example, when I created Harper, I did create her parents, but in order for me to really flesh out her parents, I used cheats in order to get them you know, I guess like they had a full life before we started this gameplay. Um, I do the same with all of the other Sims that we bring in. So Harper's friends, Jackson um, and Liam, and um, also Jackson's family, since we're going to be doing a video on them in the future. So I will show you some of the things that I use UI Cheats extension for. I'm sure it has a lot of other purposes, but for what I need, this is what I use. 
So I'll kind of start at the end. Um, I haven't used it for this, but I know that it can do this and I find it to be really useful. So to give you an example of why I would be using UI Cheats extension in our social groups panel. So we've seen this, right? Where you go in and you complete something. So say we practice debating for two hours or we win a debate and for whatever reason, it doesn't tick off. If I just right click that, then now it is satisfied. Um, I wouldn't do it for cheaty purposes because that doesn't seem fun to me, but I would do it in the event that the game glitches or like something doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Uh, so that is something that I would definitely use it for. Um, also for social groups, you can add club points, club points, which I think were really helpful. So in the case of Harper's sorority, I thought that that was necessary because the sorority has existed long before Harper came into it. So the idea of them not having any club points or not, not existing in any way before she got there just doesn't feel real to me. So I would add in club points and add in like some stuff that they could do, but it does make it really easy for you to be able to do that. Um, so that is the stuff that I would use it for in that panel. The needs one is really easy. So you can left click and you can increase or decrease any need to wherever you want it to be. Um, I would be really careful with going too close, <clears throat> excuse me, to the red because you can starve your sim immediately and they will die if you cut that too close. But um, a reason why I would be using this, usually not for Harper, because like I said, I would prefer to just play the game. And if she's tired, she's tired, like we'll deal with it. But if I'm controlling another sim and that sim shows up tired or that sim shows up smelly, I would come here and I would be able to control their motives to make those changes. Um, and that one, I probably do every episode. So the Smology panel is another place where the UI Cheats extension mod is useful. You can come here, you can increase or add any number of days or decrease any number of days from a sim's current lifespan. You can add traits to your sim by just right clicking. Um, I think you can add milestones. I haven't played around with that at all, but you can add milestones. Um, you can't do anything with likes and dislikes for some reason. Um, you can't do anything in there, but you can add lifestyles, which I did quite a bit with um, Harper's parents. And it gives you the option to make changes to the reputation if you want a sim to come into it with a certain ex um, reputation. You can also add celebrity levels and fame points here. So all of those things are super useful for storytelling purposes or gameplay purposes. All right, so getting into the um, relationship panel, it actually has several purposes here. So let's just click on Emma. I can uh, right click on Emma and I can change our friendship to wherever I would want it to be. Um, sorry, there's a fire truck going down the street. So apologies if you can hear that, I'm sure you can. Um, so you can do that. You also have the ability to go into the panel for that sim. You can add sentiments. So for storytelling purposes, I find this to be super useful. Um, you can add sentiments for one or the other sim. You can add them to both. So that just works out a lot for storytelling purposes. And there's another fire truck. So again, apologies. Um, so that is where it becomes really useful here. Um, I think you can also use it to change some stuff within that panel. So like you can make changes to their relationship. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So relationships and sentiments are the only things that you can do here, but you can also add or remove relationship. You can add romantic relationship. You can increase those levels to anyone that your sim already knows from this panel. So moving into the skills panel, you can right click and increase any skill that you want to any level, which I find is useful. You can also decrease skills from here. Um, and then moving right over to the career panel. So Harper does not have a job, but in the event that she did, you can uh, promote or demote any sim into any um, 
level of any career that they're currently in it makes it a lot easier if you're trying to set them someplace specific um, you can also because she is in university I can change her overall grade point average to whatever I would like it to be you also have the ability when you when your sim has classes I believe to make changes to those individual classes so really useful there um, for aspiration, it's pretty much the exact same as what you would use um, for the social groups. You can make changes here to um, any task that may not have ticked off for whatever reason. Um, I found that to be useful when I was playing for rent because I would click off a task or like I would satisfy it, but for whatever reason it wouldn't show satisfied in my aspiration. So I would use it here. So let's just say I decide at some point that I've done two guest lectures. We do the third one and for whatever reason we come out and it does not satisfy the requirement. You can always just come here and right click and that will satisfy the requirement for you. I don't think that you can change um, reward points from here, but we do have another mod that allows us to do that. All right, so moving into this center section of the UI. So I use Cheats, UI Cheats Ascension all the time to change the weather. So right now it's already sunny, but there's been plenty of times where we've been traveling in between worlds. So going from, um, say, Brightchester to Windenburg, and we get to Windenburg and it's pouring down rain, and that's just not working for whatever story I'm trying to tell. So I would come here, I would right click, and I have the ability to change that weather. You can also change the time, which I just did. So you can change it forward. You don't have the ability to go backward, but all you have to do is right click and I can change the time right now to whatever time going forward that I would like it to be. Um, that is really useful if you are ready for the next day and you don't feel like speed through, through that. Um, that works or in the purposes of what I was doing here, I wanted to record this video in the middle of the day and it was like midnight from the last video that I recorded. So I just switched the time forward. So that's super useful. Another use in this main section is changing the season. I don't do this too much, but it does give you the option to do that. So if you'd like it to be summer right now, you have the ability to make that change. I think it just takes a couple of minutes for the weather to kind of catch up with that season sheet. And I've never played around this with this at all, but you can also change the lunar cycle. Um, so that's everything that you can do in that middle section. I don't know what you can do over here, honestly, um, with the Sims themselves, but I do know that over here you can make changes to the wants that your Sim has. So for example, Harper has several likes and dislikes related to music. So I always have some sort of music related like showing up and I'm not always a fan of that. So I can right click on that and then I can re-roll it and hopefully get something that's not musical. All right, she wants to flirt with Jing. I don't know who Jing is and we won't be flirting with him today, but that's what she wants to do. So, but now it's not something musical, which is really good because they just keep popping up. There's an overwhelming number of want rela wants related to music. So this helps there. Also, and I don't know if anybody else has experienced this. So let's say she wants to have a drink because she's at the bar. I send her in there to the bar and she has a drink and it doesn't tick off. I have the ability to complete that and get the points for it which really helps. So another thing that you can do with UI Cheats extension in this little corner is now she's got this new buff from um, fulfilling that want. You can just right click that and remove it. And lastly, you can add money here. So if you are trying to tell a story, like for example, this isn't Harper's money, this is actually her parents' money. Um, you can add whatever amount of money you think that that parent or that household would have. Um, it also has the ability to add galactic credits. I guess that would be for Batu, which I've never been to, but so it has all of those other options. So that is pretty much everything that I do with UI Cheats extension and I use it pretty much every time I record a video so I thought it was important to kind of go over it here even though it is a more um, well-known mod. So the next one we are going to be covering is another super well-known mod and I'm just going to be showing you what I do with it as it relates to 
um, kind of storytelling or doing let's plays within the game, I'm going to unpause in hopes that some people actually show up here because right now we don't have a lot of folks. We've got um, Anaya here dancing. So going into MCC, one of the things that I, she is getting it in over there. I'm here for that. So one of the things that I use it for often when I am playing, there is Patina, don't know why she's here, but one of the things that I do often when I'm playing, especially when I am playing location-based, so for example, I don't know where Patina is going, but let's just say we're in Windenburg and Patina is not supposed to be here. I can click on Patina and I can select MC Command Center, I can go to MC Cheats, and I can make her leave. So this will make Patina, you see that hand goes up like a stop, what you're doing? I can um, do that and Patina will leave pretty much right away. Um, that is one of the features that I use the most, honestly. Um, I use it a lot in this game because Harper's dad keeps showing up here even though there's no reason for him to be here like it's not reasonable for him to be here so I remove a lot of parents now that Jackson's family is in the game I have found myself removing his parents as well so that is something that I use um, MC Command Center for some other uses for MC Command Center it is really really useful when setting up a family in the Sims so giving them jobs um, giving them degrees is a really useful thing to be able to do with MC Command Center. So just to give you an example, I have Nico sitting over here because I'm going to be using her for something a little bit later. But you can go MC Command Center, you can go MC Cheats, you can go to Cheat Sim Info, and then Expansion Cheats, and then down here there should be University Cheats. Normally, you would be able to add her to University in the event that she's not already enrolled. Um, and you can give certain degrees. I don't know how that works on other Sims. You might only be able to do that on yourself. Let me see. There's so many menus that are so deep on this. Um, let me see if that works. MC Cheats. Uh, what was it? Cheats and Info, Expansion Cheats, University Cheats. Yeah, so I can enroll her in university. I can award a specific degree. I can reward all the degrees in the game. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with that. You can also change your Sim's name, and that option is here under Sim Commands, and then Maintain Sim. You can rename them, you can delete them, you can kill them. Um, I sometimes have found that I've changed my, my, my mind about what a Sim's name was and renamed them. I have done that. I have not used it to kill any Sims, but I guess I have used it sometimes to delete them. Um, another thing that you can do here is if you're clicking on another sim, so uh, you might know this by, about me by now, but whenever Harper is going to hang out with a sim, they can't be wearing the same outfit they were wearing the last time she hung out with that sim. So the easiest way for me to be able to do that, and I will demonstrate on Miko again, I would go to MC Command Center, I would go to... Um, in sim commands and then modify in CAS and that will pull up just Miko in CAS in order for me to change her outfit. So this is really useful if there's like 10 sims in a household um, and you only want to load in one of them then that would give you that option. You can modify and cast for just that one person and change their outfit. So I find that to be super useful for my purposes of what I'm playing for. There's so many other things that you can do with MC Command Center. I do use it to control the townies that show up in my game, the ones that spawn, and make sure that they spawn from the gallery instead of the game generating them. And someone did ask me about that before, so if that's something that you guys would want me to do a more in-depth review on, definitely let me know in the comments and I might schedule that for a future video. But one of the other main things that I do with MC Command Center is I update the game speed. So you might notice when my game is going, it's a lot slower than someone else's game might be. And the reason for that is because I have reduced the game speed to, I think, like 37 or something like that, which means that the game clock goes a lot slower and it gives me the ability to do a lot more stuff within a day, which is really, really useful for trying to have a full life in The Sims because usually they come home from work, it's been all day, they 
eat dinner and it's been like three hours now and like there's nothing else that they can really do. Um, in this case, I have the ability to just do a lot more stuff with them during the day and that makes it a lot easier for me to not feel pressured because the time is going way too fast. So I have read where other people have had issues with this negatively affecting their saves, but I can only speak from my own experience. I have been changing the game speed pretty much since I started using MC Command Center years ago now, and I have never had it negatively affect any save of mine. The one thing that it will do though, is if you take it out. So say for example, you update MC Command Center, but you forget to move over your settings um, file. Now you don't have that game speed anymore. It will make it so that your game looks wonky. So it might be tomorrow morning as opposed to right now at three o'clock. Um, and the only way to fix that is just don't save it. Um, go out of the game, put your settings back in from your last file and then reload, <coughs> excuse me. And that should be resolved for you. So that is one of what I would consider to be the best mods that I have found for this game. It just makes it so much easier to, for me to play and for me to enjoy playing as opposed to having to rush through everything. So that's pretty much everything that I would want to cover with MC Command Center. I can also use it to summon Sims to a lot. So say for example, she wants to hang out with someone but we forgot to include them, we can summon that Sim. And you can also do a lot of this stuff directly from your relationships panel. So I can change Jackson's outfit directly from here. I don't have to go out to manage worlds and then interact with him in some way or bring him to the lot first. If I just want him to be wearing a different outfit for the next time I see him in the future, I have the ability to do that. You can also do a lot of the other cheats from here as well without seeing the sim or without them being on lot. So that is everything that I do with MC Command Center that I would be going over today in this video. And that is by Deadpool. if I did not mention that already. Okay, so now getting into some of the more kind of utility specific game items that I use or modifications, I'm going to start with the Auto Employees Custom Lot Trait mod, and that's by Little Miss Sam. So I have mentioned before that I really enjoy multifunctional lots. So in this case, here in Windenburg, we're at a bar that also has a cafe attached to it. But of course, we know how The Sims works. There's not going to be a barista that's going to show up here. It's just going to be the bar, right? Because that is the lot type that we're on. Um, I also have a busking station down over here. So for both of these, in order for me to make this a um, lot more lively while filming, I would have to hire a barista for $100 and I would have to hire a busker for $100. And if you have a sim that doesn't really have a whole lot of money, that's not really ideal. Also, the idea of doing that and spending your own money just doesn't seem fair. So if there is a cafe on a lot or any other thing on a lot, then I would rather the sims automatically generate it. So the way that you do this is after you've downloaded that mod, you pop into build mode. And then you should be able to see here in the traits panel, I can select the lot trait employees and professionals, and it says that that um, will have a bar of Rista, a bartender, entertainer, and more spawn on the lot if a bar, espresso bar, etc., are placed on the lot. So that just gives you that multi purpose lot functionality. So let's click on that, let's add that in to this lot. And then what you should be able to do is click right here on this door and you'll see auto employee. So that gives you the ability to add in any kind of employee. And what's really, really cool about this mod is that every time in the future that we come to this lot, that will automatically spawn whatever extra service sims that we have requested. So in this case, I'm going to request allow a barista and I'm also going to allow a busker and then I'm just gonna give it a few minutes for those sims to show up. 
usually takes just a few sim minutes someone should spawn here they will automatically spawn where needed so they'll come over here and start doing that job and then someone will come over here and start busking so it does take a while i will give them a minute to do that and then a few minutes we'll get into the next mod but let me just do like a quick two minutes there we go so there is where are you going where are you going miko you can't leave nobody told you to leave um i did tell miko to sit down so let's reset her again reset sim and then can i seat her here will she stay she won't because now she wants to leave. So I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on her. So there is our Barisa. She is going to pop back there. Her name is Tamar. And hopefully we will get a busker to show up here at some point also. Oh, she's still trying to leave. No, you can't leave, I'm sorry. Um, MC Cheats resets him. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and control Miko and I'm gonna make her sit back down in this chair like I asked her to originally until I am ready for her. So we've already got Tamar here. She is doing her job. She is now waiting on people to come and order coffee. So she is in full barista mode. And then I know we requested a busker. I'm going to assume that they will show up at some point. So we'll give them the time that they need in order to do that. Maybe that takes longer to spawn, I don't know. So we've got that happening. And then we also, um, like I said, we'll not have to worry about doing this ever again. So every time we come to this bar slash cafe, a barista will be here and hopefully a busker will be here, but that won't change the original functionality of the lot. So the bartender will still be here. It will still function as a bar, but then we will have the option to have coffee here and do other things. So that's what I really appreciate about this mod. And like I said, that is the auto employees custom lot trait mod by Little Miss Sam. Okay. So another mod that I use a lot that has very similar functionality is the gender and more not allowed lot trait by Little Miss Sam. So that is in the exact same location. So you would go back into build mode and you would go to your traits panel, but this time it's gonna be in lot challenges. So you would select the gender and more not allowed. And this one says this lot trait does not allow Sims with certain gender, ages, or occult traits to enter. And so I'm going to go ahead and add that to our lot. And then you would do the exact same thing that we just did. So you come here to the door, you go to gender, more not allowed, and then here's all of your options. So I use this a lot. I use this to keep celebrity sims away so that it doesn't become a to-do. You can use it to keep the paparazzi away in the event that your sim is a celebrity. You can keep fans out. You also have the ability to control who is able to come to the lot based on their age. So say you only want teens on the lot. You can select just teens. You can select just children. Um, that functionality is there. Let's just say you only want guys or girls on a lot. You have the ability to do that as well. So if you wanted to do an all girls school in The Sims, you could make it so that guys never show up at this lot only girls are the students so that is some of the stuff that you can do with this particular lot that i find super useful i think for the purposes of harper's gameplay i use it mostly to keep the celebrities away so that they're not attracting so much attention in the background when she is in a public place so again that is the gender and more not allowed lot trait by little miss sam Okay, so you've already seen me use the next mod that we're going to be covering. We've got Miko over here. Miko is being controlled by me, even though Miko is not a part of my household. So in order for you to do that, you would just come here and you would click on Miko. You would go to actions and then here's where that option is going to be. So right now it says don't control Sim because I'm already controlling Miko and you can see she will disappear from my household panel. But in order for me to continue to control Miko, I'll just go to actions and then control sim. So you don't have full functionality over the sim, meaning they can still leave if they want to, but you like if they have work or something else to do, then you can see 
that they will um, go ahead and go anyway. The one downside of that is that that doesn't remove them from your household panel. They'll still be there. And at some point, you're probably going to have to call that sim back over in order to stop controlling them because that option doesn't exist over here in this panel that I can see. Oh, no, it does. Okay. So we might be able to stop controlling Miko from there and, and instead of having to worry about controlling her from elsewhere. Yeah, it does. Okay. So that is something that I use pretty much all the time. Um, if I need Sims to do what I need them to do, if, you know, they're it, the Sims can be a really, really complicated game and they don't always like to do what you ask. So sometimes in order to make sure that my Sims friends are doing what is needed, I will control them to make sure that I have a little bit more control over how everything works. So you will find a lot of times that there will be an extra Sim down here in my household panel. They did not move in. They are likely just being controlled by me in order to make sure that the gameplay goes more smoothly and that they are being cooperative. So that is the control any sim mod and that is by Titan Nano. Okay, so the next one I use all the time. I think I've only used it maybe once or twice in my Sims gameplay here on YouTube, but it is super useful. So this is going to be the Serve Drinks and Food on Tables by Zero mod. So giving you an example of why I would use this. So my Sim wants to come and have coffee with Miko. However, we've all seen how this works. I am going to have Harper order a coffee, and then by the time Miko orders her coffee, Harper's already finished the coffee. So the idea of having them sit down and drink coffee together just doesn't work out. So what I would do, instead of having them even use the barista to order their coffee, I would have them come here instead, directly to the table, and then Harper would just click on that, and she would serve drinks, she can serve that coffee directly from here. She can serve any other kind of beverage. So there's lots of coffees. There's cocktails that you can do. I don't know what's in this camping one. Looks like some coffees as well. Can water. Um, I don't know why this is a separate category, but different kinds of coffees and stuff that you can order. I guess and then there's the beer section there's um, special drinks which is like your kava and some of that other stuff and then there's soft drinks here which includes your orange juice and your milk and your lemonade and water somehow is a soft drink there's also liquors which I think are all of the ones from that globe object that comes in whichever stuff pack it comes in and then your crafty drinks so the ones that you can make your kombucha your fizzy drinks etc and then there's wine and tea so you can serve any of those items directly on your table and so that's what we're going to do we are going to set out some cafe lattes so she's going to come over here it costs 75 dollars all the time no matter how many you are using she's going to put that right on the table and then usually they stand up they don't sit down i don't know if that's because of the type of table or what so she could keep going but i'm going to have her stop here because there's only two of us so she is going to come over here and she is going to sit down well actually i think here is where she'll sit and then we will have miko come and sit over here so it just makes it so much easier for storytelling purposes if you want your sims to be able to sit down and have a cup of coffee together miko can drink her coffee harper can have her coffee and the two of them can sit here and have a conversation so let's give relationship advice let's do that i don't know why he just ran through all of those obstruction obstructions in order to run around that corner but yeah so they're chatting they're having their coffee i didn't have to worry about waiting for the coffee to come they're able to sit and have that coffee together and that just makes it so much more organic to me as opposed to like trying to play musical chairs and deal with all of the other stuff that comes with the sims not wanting to wait and drink the coffee with their friend so they're going to drink that coffee together and they're going to talk and that just works out so so much better for me so what i am now going to do is show you the next mod actually i've already shown it to you so the steady sit and see any sim by um i think it's emily's apologies if i'm mispronouncing that 
So you've seen me use this a million times. Um, it doesn't always prevent the musical chairs, but it does a relatively good job of, of limiting the amount of musical chairs that we experience in the game. I'm just gonna cheat this because we don't have time for that right now. Um, it limits the amount of the musical chairs. So it also stops Sims from um, leaving if you want them to stay for the most part. So I have them both sitting, sitting in these chairs. If I don't ask them to do anything else, they should continue to sit here. And this works with all kinds of chairs. You can use it on bar stools, you can use it on sofas, um, and that will ensure that your Sim stays put when it's time to have a conversation. You don't have to worry about them moving around. So that is something that I use all of the time because it is really, really frustrating to deal with Sims going in 15 different directions when you're trying to film a video. It takes a lot more time to get that done. So the steady sit and seat any Sim has been really, 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 really helpful for me. And I'm sure a lot of people know about it and have seen it, but just wanted to point it out. Our busker also never showed up. Um, maybe they went to the wrong spot. They did. Okay. So the busker did show up, but it looks like there is a busking station downstairs. So they came to that one as well. So she is the guitar busker. And okay. So the mod is not broken. We just had two different busking stations. So instead of her going to the busking station that I was expecting her to go to, she went to a different one. Okay. So that resolves that issue. Um, and then for... The next one, you've already kind of seen it or not seen it. So Harper and Miko are having a conversation. We do have the convivial lot trait on this lot, which I think you saw when we were going into the lot traits. Normally, if they are talking and they've got that convivial lot trait up, then you would see all of those. What are they like? Sure. Um, none of this is binding because this is like a test save. So like all of the changes that we made don't mean anything. But um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, the headline effects. So we don't see those like gold light bulbs that are always floating around when a sim is learning something or like experiencing additional skills gain based on a lot trait. So even though we have convivial and we are currently having a conversation, you don't see that happening. And the reason why is because I have the no lot trait visual effects by Lothario in my game. So any of the lot traits that you would see that would normally cause those golden light bulbs to show up. So cooking, if you're on a lot that has like um, homey, I think it is, and maybe a chef's kitchen. I'm not sure how that works, but you would be seeing all those little things and they are really, really distracting and also make it difficult to sometimes see your Sims face, which is really important to me because I think my Sims are adorable. So I have those removed all of the time because it makes it easier for me to be able to focus on what my Sims are doing without having to worry about all of those little floaties in the screen. But also I like the benefits of having the lot trait because they do gain those skills faster. I just don't want the little floaty things. So that mod really helps out a lot for that, specifically as it relates to recording Sims videos and trying to make sure that everyone can see what is going on and they're not distracted by little things that aren't meant to be a part of it. Okay, and then the last mod that I wanted to cover is one of my personal favorites, and I'm going to control another sim in order to make this work. There's a very pregnant Liliana. I won't make her walk over here. Let's do this guy. This is um, Justin Delgado, who should not be here because he lives in Brindleton Bay. We will control him, and we will have him come sit in this chair. while Harper and Miko continue to chat. I don't know where she's going. There's no restaurant here. Well, actually it does have the ability to be a restaurant as another option, but we're having it as a bar today. Okay, so Justin is here. Let's add Justin into the conversation. So let's have Harper just introduce herself to him. Respectful introduction. Okay, so now Justin eventually is going to also show up as a Sim up here in our conversation panel. Um, I use often, because we've seen this, right? Your sim is on a date, 
she's on a date with Jackson or she's on a date with Liam or whatever and another sim shows up and just starts having a conversation with them in the middle of their date that is not how any of this works in my opinion that is not life so I don't like that so what I found was a mod called remove sims from conversations by the pancake one and it gives me the option to come right up here and just right click on Justin Delgado and he is no longer a part of that conversation so that probably is the favorite of all of the mods that I have on this list because I use it so often in order to try and avoid um, unnecessary extra sims and creating or developing relationship with sims that I don't mean to because they've just randomly decided to engage in conversation. I think, um, yeah, they just re-engaged him so now he's back. So yeah, you can always, unfortunately, you will have to do it many times in some cases. Why is it not working now? Why? It just worked. There we go. Okay, so it removed him. But yeah, so that is one of the other mods that I use a lot. So again, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. The mods, again, will be in a Tumblr post, and I will have the link to that Tumblr post down in the description of this video. If there's other videos or other mods that you would like to see me cover in depth that you've seen me play with, definitely do leave the mods down in the comment section and I will look into those for a potential future mod related video. Um, this was just meant to cover some of the basic mods that just make it easier for me to record without a whole lot of hangups happening. So definitely let me know if there's some mods that I don't have on this list that you think are really, really helpful for that. I'm not claiming to be like a mod expert by any means, but if there's mods out there that will make some of these little irritating things that happen in the sims easier i am all for trying those out so that is everything that i have for this video again thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it take care